Hey guys, welcome to the construction site on Friday. Friday morning, the crane is here to lift our I-beam onto the garage. So the guy just told me he has only 12 meters outreach and it's about 10 meters to the beam in the plant, so he has to stand 2 meters from the wall, which is really, really close. So it might be an issue, but hopefully he can exceed his outreach limit because it's only 500 kilos on the beam. Let's see how it goes. This is a really old car, Tatra. Cool. I asked the driver, he told me the car was produced uh, the same year I was born, so it's the same age as me. Really awesome. So he's pulling it up, he's going to rotate the crane and set it down on the other side. Let's go up and check it out. Patry, weź tam pociągnij go w dół. Nie, swoją stronę. Oprzy się o nią. O, jeszcze. Dobra. O, dobra. Paweł, spróbuj ty. Nie, w ręki tam nie wkładaj. So the guys are just now adjusting uh, the beam while the crane is here so that it's in the proper spot. It will be pretty hard to move afterwards. But still we got those acro props so we can uh, lift it if we need to and maybe shim it a little bit in the end. But all in all, yeah, it's looking good. Dobra robota. Prosta robota. <laughs> awesome. Really, really good. Panie Stanisławie, dziękuję panu bardzo za pomoc przy naszej belce i do zobaczenia mam nadzieję. That was really good. I'm very happy with uh, the result. Not easy, but the guys managed pretty well. And later today, concrete time. Alright guys, it's around 1 o'clock now and I don't think the guys will make it by 3. 
with the forms because the rear is not tied up yet, even the steel. So I think we'll push the uh, concrete to Monday. And uh, I, I mean, me, I'm setting out to do some work on the hydro isolation. I've cleaned up the foundation from all the sand and uh, stuff that was gathered here. This is an important step when prepping for uh, the thermal isolation. You can see it's stacked over there. But now uh, there are some spots I want to fix in the bitumen, for example, here where we had the crane. There are some spots that have been chipped away, just uh, physical damage. And I've been going around uh, the house, checking out the work the guys did uh, last time with the bitumen and some spots need fixing because there was not good adhesion of the bitumen mass but for example over here on the wall you can see I've been cutting out a spot because uh, there was water gathering between two layers of bitumen same over there in the corner there was a big pocket and when I've been cutting out uh, the netting on top I pulled on it and came off from the wall over there possibly because of some dust or something that caused, caused the bitumen not to adhere. Normally it's pretty sticky stuff, maybe it, I think this was the end of the day, or maybe it was already uh, you know, old, the bitumen or like drying up and didn't stick that well. So yeah, that, there are some spots in the corners here that I want to fix up. You can see the orange net show up in some places and also here on this wall. We had really bad conditions when we were applying. I want to check out the foundation here, get a shovel, get some of this uh, uh, sand away still, and maybe touch it up a bit also. All right, so we rescheduled the concrete for Monday. The guys are upstairs tying rebar still and making four more and stuff like that. And in the meantime, I've been prepping for applying the final part of bitumen mass like corrections and I found some serious issues with the previous application and I'll show you what it's all about basically over here on this wall where we were applying it uh, in the night I guess everything was wet and the overlap just came off it wasn't uh, properly adhered to the previous layer and it looks a little bit like this let me show you I think this netting contributes to the problem you can see this lifts up all of this would be hinged here and will just come up just come up and you could just see the concrete for example here you can see right this is concrete this is not good and this lifts up so what I'll do is I'll clean all of this up right you see this is just peeling off layer from layer really poor so what I'll do is I'll I'll clean this up nicely with some uh, clean water and sponge, wait for it to dry and uh, apply a next layer of bitumen on top, just uh, bridging the gap between the two without any netting that could cause it to lift off and stuff like that. Hopefully it will be much better. Yeah, and here up front, it's basically the same thing as on the back. You can see all of this stuff is just lifting off without any adhesion on the bottom so I'm going to cut it out just like that because it's pointless to keep it here we'll just cut this because this mesh was supposed to uh, make a nice seal with the other edge but I think it's better just to put some extra bitumen mass up in here to seal the two rather than have this really not that good yeah 
so pretty bad pretty bad right guys so I'm doing the bitumen but I'm in a bit of a rush because it's raining I mixed up the batch and maybe 10 minutes in but I've been doing this little pieces here and this bigger part here over here start to rain so I'm in like speed mode to put the bitumen on before the wall gets before the wall gets wet but it's, uh, I'm losing the battle so So I'm just putting dabs of bitumen where I can see the netting but the rain really made my day 10 times worse. I was hoping to get this on while it's dry and now that window is closing. But I've put out almost all the bitumen that I've mixed and only a small part is left so let's try. Let's try to push through. Alright, and in case you are wondering what is the progress upstairs, let's go take a look. Alright, we got the steel tied up on that side, uh, on this side some formwork on this side, some formwork here. But we're missing a bottom over there in the window. So. Yeah, the guys are hard at work. It's a lot of uh, structure to build. And the beam, it looks fantastic. I'm really happy with this one. It looks very cool. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode today. It's been lots of fun with the crane and the I-beam. But the rain at the end of the day, not so cool. I was hoping to get uh, the bitumen mass in shape and of course the uh, overlap on the bitumen layers is peeling off that's really not so good I think I'll need to get a new bucket of bitumen because I'm only one third bucket left and that's not a lot of bitumen really after using it up today it went pretty fast so I'll buy some more I think one bucket to make all the repairs and that should be sufficient all right thanks for watching this episode i'll catch you next time bye